Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to model a rope style vase in 3ds Max using the conform modifier. Stick with me, this one's fun. We'll kick things off with a simple circle. I'm using the auto grid option so I can draw it directly on the table surface. I'm making the circle slightly larger than the top of the vase. Then, using the align tool, I'll snap it to the vase. Center to center on all axes, so it's right where it needs to be. Next, I'll move it down a bit and jump into the modifier panel to add an extrude modifier. I'll set the amount to something like 0.4 and I'll turn off cap start and cap end. We want this to be completely hollow. Now comes the fun part. We'll use the array modifier to create copies of this rope loop. Under the parameters, I'll set the count on X to 1 since we only want to copy upward, and then increase the count on Z. You can adjust the offset value to control the spacing between each loop. I'll crank up the number until it wraps around the entire height of the vase. Here's a cool trick. Under the randomization tab, we can add some slight rotation randomness to make the rope loops feel more natural, maybe two or three degrees around the X and Y axes. It breaks the uniformity and adds a more realistic handmade touch. To make this rope structure actually hug the vase shape, I'll use the conform modifier. I'll pick the vase as the target object and change the volume on method section to shrink wrap. This makes the rope cling to the vase's surface like it's wrapped around it. To give it a little space off the surface, I'll add an offset, just enough to bring it slightly forward from the vase body. Then, to give the loops some thickness, I'll add a shell modifier. I'll set the outer amount to 0.4 to get a nice square section. And to finish off the shape, a turbo smooth makes everything clean and smooth. Now we can go back and tweak the array. I might increase the count or remove the rotation randomness if I want it to look more uniform. You'll see how much more structured it looks that way. I'll also adjust the height so it lines up just right with the vase. But actually, I want to add a little randomness again. Because I've got a few more tricks to show you. I'll drop the number of loops and increase the spacing, then throw in a bit more rotation randomness around the X and Y axes. Maybe even increase the copy count just a bit. Now here's a bonus move. I'll clone this whole rope setup with Control V, set it to copy, and now we've got two identical layers stacked. I'll offset one slightly to fill in the gaps. Just moving it up a little makes a big difference. Jumping back into the array modifier, by choosing the seed option, I'll change the random rotation to vary the look. Then, in the Confirm Modifier's Target section, I'll not only select the vase, but also the previous rope layer, so the new one wraps nicely around both. The result? Super cool. It's got this layered, handcrafted feel. One part is sticking up a bit, no problem. I'll nudge it down so it sits snug on top of the others. I might also lower the Z copy count to clean things up. Finally, let's switch to the camera view and check out the details up close. Looks awesome, right?